Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I want to quickly talk about enhanced inputs and how you can use them with different kind of ability system. Okay, so I'll link a video from Amazon's channel Leaf Branch Games and he has gone over some excellent explanation over how to use enhanced input and how different functions work. But in this video, I just want to quickly talk about how to use enhanced input and how you can change this context based on some abilities and stuff. Okay, so we are going to create uh, recreate some enhanced input for our project so i'm already using 5.1 default third person project so we have these enhanced input added and if you take a look we have these two things imc default and these ias okay so by default this has been duplicated this input for Unreal engine 5.1 so let's go ahead and take a look how these are used okay so i'm going to go to a new folder enhanced inputs and if you go into the input category, we have this input mapping context and input action. So input mapping context is basically what kind of input mappings a character can have. For example, if we are inside a vehicle, we can have some different kind of mapping context like IMC vehicle. And if we are in a helicopter or aerial vehicle, so we can have IMC helicopter, for example. And similarly on the ground, we can have IMC ground. Okay. So this defines what kind of inputs are available to the character. And input action is the way a key is pressed, like it's a boolean, like on off click buttons, or it's kind of an axis, like you have those thumbsticks on your controllers or mouse even, mouse inputs, okay? So we're going to create a new input mapping context for our character that is going to allow us to attack on our left mouse button, okay? So if I create an input mapping context, I'm calling this IMC attack input. Okay, so by default this does nothing. Okay, so we have to add a mapping for this and for this one We need an IA class. So we're going to create that class next and going to input input action and call this IA underscore melee attack Okay Now this doesn't define the key itself, but this defines what kind of key is going to use So we just keep this at digital boolean We don't need a float or vectors because this is going to be just a single left mouse button click and the attack is going to be executed okay and going back to our imc attack inputs i'm going to use this one ia melee attack okay so triggers and modifiers okay so the trigger is what kind of actions are triggered on this like we have press and hold hold and release okay a pulse and tap okay so we really don't need a trigger for this example but uh, these are really useful to know what kind of inputs you can use so you can have like one input for press and hold and similar input for a tap only okay Okay, so we're not going to need this. and modifiers are really useful one good example is in the default example a uh, default imc so if you look at this a key and the d key you remember a is used to move left and d is used to move right so the a key has a modifier of negate so when we press the a key the access value is from this uh, ia move is negated so this is a 2d axis so the value from this is negated uh, meaning we are going to move left and for the d key we don't have a modifier so we're going to move right okay so sim same ia move is used for ws and similarly the s key is modified also as well and so is actually used to move up and down okay so w has this modifier as well but the s has a negate as well so maybe we've downwards instead of uh, downwards rather backwards instead of forward okay and with the w we move forward okay so these kind of modifiers are necessary uh, can be necessary useful if you want some different kind of um, response for the uh, key okay so i don't know what kind of these are but uh, you can refer to the documentation okay so i'm going to use the left mouse button for the input of this okay you just press this and press the key that you want to use okay so i'm going to save this and i'm going to use this inside of my third person tractor okay so this is already set up but we the way we set up is we just say get controller okay this one and from here you say cast to player controller because this player control has that enhanced sub sub uh, sub enhanced input subsystem so you drag out from here and search for this one get enhanced input local player subsystem and from here you search for add mapping context okay so over here you use this IMC attack input okay so this thing has already been set up on this example 
the default third person example so i'm going to just simply use this one and duplicate this and just add my imc attack input and this is going to be going over here okay and i also want to point out if you don't like this cast tool i have tested this and if you just use this get player controller you can use this but uh, this might be restrictive in case of multiplayer games or where you have multiple co-op kind of stuff so just stick to the default one the way epic has done this okay so we have added this imc attack input but we haven't defined what to do on this melee attack the way we do this similar to this inputs if you right click and search for ia underscore melee attack we get this huge event that is triggered on the left mouse button okay now since this is a boolean uh, like a click attack and click button so everything is going to happen on this trigger but if you have press and hold press and tap and all this stuff all these kind of will behave differently on different kind of triggers okay so over here i'm just going to say play montage okay and i'm going to say attack a and i'm going to use this mesh as the skeleton component okay so this is done and now i have granted this attack input to this character and i have this melee attack on this uh, on this input action i'm going to just play a montage so going back inside our viewport if i press my left mouse button you see i'm playing that montage okay and if i remove that um this mapping context okay so technically nothing should happen if i press the left mouse button okay so nothing is happening because we haven't granted this uh, mapping context to our character next time i want to talk about how you can actually change this mapping input during runtime with gameplay abilities and environment okay so as a single simple example i have this zone or plane collision okay so if you look at this bp attack zone i have just simply on begin overlap i have this event called on the third person character add imc and on the end overlap i have called this remove imc and for this i'm using the same attack input and if we remove this and go to our third person character we see i have added these add imc and remove imc so basically what these are doing are getting this subsystem and calling this add mapping context and remove mapping context on these events now you can use these blueprint interface to call this instead of cast to nodes okay so we have this ia melee attack present on our character that should play this montage okay but we do not have this mapping context to our character on begin play okay so what should happen is that once we are inside of this uh, zone we should have our mapping context and we can easily perform our melee ability and once we are outside of that zone we will have removed our mapping context of attack input so we won't be able to attack up with our character okay so if i press my left mouse button i cannot attack okay but as soon as i enter this we have our mapping edit as you can see on the upper right message okay so i'm attacking okay i can easily attack so once i'm out of this zone it says mapping removed and i cannot attack any longer okay going back we can attack okay and once we exit i cannot attack anymore okay so this is the way that you can use these mapping contacts based on where the character is in the world for example if he's in a vehicle you can have different kind of mapping contacts added and once you're out of the vehicle you can reassign these ground mapping contacts to that character okay so i hope this clarifies how to use input enhance input inside of unreal engine so if you have any questions feel free to let me know on my youtube channel or my discord so i think this is it for this video thank you very much